I got um, a car. I mean, a car. Oh, this car. I got this car. And um, it flew away like. And it got out of the trap, right, Claire? Got out of the trap. And, you know, it's something that stuck off mine, but it was this. So. Funny. Funny. What's funny? That he got stuck. Yeah, but he kicked his arm and kicked. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yes, yeah, sweetie. And he kicked his. Hey, okay. Claire. What? Congrats. Good job. Congratulations on your graduating from nursery school, honey. Can I see you? Here's my chin. <laughs> Where are you going next year? Kindergarten. Wow. Yeah. What's what's the name of your new school? Bowers. Good girl. <laughs> Honey, so. <laughs> okay. Now for the movie. Yeah. <coughs> Go ahead, bud. This is my big hobby. Carl. Excuse me. Can I say that again? This is my Carl. Tower <laughs> alien, <laughs> and I made it. And start again. This is my Carl um robot um what is it? The Carl robot um statue, and um we're gonna see it be crushed down by this car. Okay. Not yet. Let me back off and. Okay. Now can you see the whole entire tower? Yes, I can. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Does Mama want to see it happen? Mom want to see the tower drop. Claire, you can sit there. Want to see the tower drop? Sure. Okay. Hurry though. Hurry up. I guess the whole thing get knocked down. I guess I'll better fix the car. Are you ready? Mm hmm. Hello, I'm Carl Dusler, and I just did Lion Sleeps Tonight, and I'm really excited that I finished it because it was um, pretty tricky. It took me um, actually a week to do, and I think it was fun that I finished. And I also have to say something to you. I love you to um, to the end of the universe and back. One million trillion gazillion infinity times. Wow, I am a very lucky guy to be loved that much. And we do mm. love each other. Mm. Just hold you. That's true. Hi, hon. Get, get to practice your show soon? Why don't you do a little dancing around for me? Go this way. Go over, the, go over this way and dance in front of the chairs. Okay. You look beautiful.
Okay, wait a second. Robin, do you want me to do it? They do it again. Do you want me to tape it again? Do you want me to tape it again? If they do it again. Hey, how are you? It's great. Yeah. Oh God. Um, it's, it's kind of a bumpy. It's, it's like trying to get it all back. It's really a pain. It's too bad. So they're just like hanging. Yeah, it's fine. Now you have the bobby pins just like on the sides there. Where? Like on the sides here. You are yeah. handsome you are guys, guys, you two. Oh, her bun? No, her thing. Nope. Oh, nothing. Because I think they don't have it on the side there. I asked her if she wanted to do a bobby pin, she said no. I think well, I have it on the side. Hallie, I'm going to do it in one minute, okay? Robin that wants me to videotape Claire again, okay? Monday, 345, their class. Here. Here. Oh, that's not a huge I'm sorry. Did, did you ladies, any of you donate um, a couple dollars towards Bissell's box? No, I definitely will, though. Okay. Let me talk with Beth there. Oh, okay. Sure. sure. I'll find you. We're here for a while. Find me. I'll be here. Absolutely. Are going to take it for you? Sam, to oh, are you going to do any more? No, I think. They might not do it again. They did a good job. You don't have to do it. I mean, even right if here. they do it again, you don't have to. They did a good job. Cute. <laughs>
triple punch and three punches with AMA. Ready, and <laughs> And wipe it across your forehead. And what you do is you're putting on. Oh, wrong. Okay, take two. All right, set those belts down. And take the belt off that you have. There we go. I don't want to do this. I need a stuff. I need a stuff. Cavern pressure. No. Different job. Different job. All right. Um, Best thing I ever heard, I may have told you this before, I gotta tell you again. We're on a plane. Now first of all, when the plane lands, they've got this new belt. Oh, no, you got your old belt. Take your old belt, wipe that across your forehead. That's right, that's the last drop, okay, under the armpits too, get that sweat. Away. That's the last drop of sweat, thank God, you're ever going to put into that belt. Set that belt down on the floor, pick up your new belt. All right, now take that belt, and once again, wipe that across your forehead. And that's the first drop of sweat you're going to put into that new rank. All right, let's go ahead. Now you're going to put your belt on and leave everything except for the last knot, and I'll do that one. Now you know what this means. Your yellow belt now. Huh? Not a white belt anymore. This means you're going to expect more from you. Higher kicks, stronger kicks, more focus, louder yes sirs. Got it? Huh? Oh, don't forget any You gotta keep them. You keep them. I don't feel, I don't feel like that. See? Yeah. And it goes wide. It's just like, what's going on? I don't know. 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 I don't Thank you. Nice. What's in there? Our first technique you're going to throw is that new rank. Soon to be followed by many, many more. Tell you. Give yourselves a hand. Good job. Well, for supporting the academy, I'm well aware that there are plenty of other more bases. And tell you. Come on, Nina. That means thank you very much in Korean. And face this side, everybody. Tell you. What you call everyone? Come on, Give yourselves another hand. Good job, guys. Okay. I'm interviewing some kids who are going to their first day of school. Hello. What's what do you think about the first day of school? What what grade are you going into? I'm going into third and I'm pretty excited. How come? Because I'm just excited. Oh, cool. Who's your teacher? Mrs. Volloran or something like that. Did you, or Hillary. did you read any books over the summer? Yeah, I read um, Harry Potter 1, Harry Potter 2, Harry Potter 3, and Harry Potter 4. What? Those are big books. Hey, Claire, what's what's going on today? I'm eating this in the kindergarten. Oh, my goodness. Let's hear about it. Are you excited? Yes. Yes. Uh, did you wish you were starting in the morning instead of in the afternoon? Yes. Yeah. Did it make you a little cranky that you had to wait? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. So, who was your teacher? Mrs. Moyer. Uh huh. What do you think you guys are gonna do today? You know Mrs. Moyer too, don't you? Can we go over there? Claire. Claire wants the, the, the solo. She wants the limelight. Solo no, limelight. Oh, that's true. Oh, that's true. You wouldn't want to be different than Carl, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, when, where's Carl right now? Um, he's at. Um, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. What grade is he in this year? He's not. Wow. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think his classmates look nice that we saw this morning? Yeah. Yeah. They look pretty nice. Do you remember nice. any of the kids in his class? Claire, be nice. 
just me talking. Well, Daddy can ask you questions, right? Do you remember any kids in his class? Claire, what do you think you're going to learn in uh, kindergarten? What things do you think you guys will work on? Yeah. What else? Mm -hmm. Tell stories. Right. I don't know anything else. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to about it? <laughs> um, reading books. Yeah. Do you think you'll make any new friends? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well we're looking forward to it. We're headed up there pretty soon, huh? Right after lunch? <laughs> yep. Guess what I got for lunch? What? Can you back up a little? <laughs> Sushi. <laughs> Sushi for lunch. Sushi for lunch. Sushi for lunch. Honey. Once upon a time, a little boy said his mom, can I go in the forest? And she said, no. Why not? Why not? Because there are bears and foxes that could eat you up. And you would never be alive again. I want to go, please. I won't go near them, I promise. All right, if you want to get eaten. So he went in the forest. And he said, oh, I don't know where to go. Oh, then he got to the forest. Then he saw a bear's cave. And then he said, I want to pull his skin off and touch his hair. So we did. Touch, pulled out one of his hairs. And he said, <laughs> And the little boy was a little bit scared. He was trying to run as fast as he can. But the bear caught him. He put him in his some suit. And then he did not like that. He was it's too hot, so he could not swim out. He was trying and trying and trying, but he could not. So, he almost got up. He was ready to, it was lunchtime, and it was time for the bear to eat that soup. He almost got him in the soup, then he almost did it again and again and again. But the last time, he got him into his bowl of soup. He was scared. He was scared to death. So, when the bear almost got, got him in his soup. He almost did. And he did, but the little boy didn't get chewed on. He slid through his throat everywhere about. He was still alive. He was good enough that he didn't get chewed up. So he was scared. He had an idea to tickle him in his throat. And he said, ha, 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 ha. Instead of saying, ha, 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 he burped. And then he tried to run out, but he was too slow. And the bear was too speedy. So the bear so fast. He was too scared. The bear was too scared that he would go out. So, after that, his mother was waiting and waiting until he was coming. Then, she tried to go in the forest. She just wanted her son. She went in the forest. She saw a bear's cave. She saw him. Oh, he didn't see her. She was hiding, we crawling under the ground so the bear wouldn't see her. So, so she was crawling to get her son. She did not see him. She went in his throat without got you. She saw him. Then. They tried to get out, and then he laughed because they were tickling him. Then they got out. Then he said, "Ooh, 
I got an idea. And they said, what? Well, I'll be your uncle. And that he said, great idea. Then they lived great. That was a wonderful story, Claire. I love it. Want me to do another one? Well, first, how old are you, and that, and what grade are you in? Five, and I'm in kindergarten. Who is your teacher? Mrs. Moyer. Do you like her? Mm, yeah. What kids do you like in your class? I like Sydney and Caitlin and and Kevin. Kevin, Caitlin, Sydney, um, Ryan, Joshua, um, 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 Michael Lee, that's the Chinese, he talks Chinese. Can he talk English? Well, he said a lot of English words, he said. So, and... And there's and another kid named Abigail. She talks a lot of English, but she still spe speaks another language. But she, spe she speaks English too, but I think some words she doesn't understand. What's her main language? I forget. Is it Chinese? No. Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Oh. You should tell her that you like Vietnamese food. Why? The Lotus is Vietnamese. Oh. The Lotus restaurant that you like? Mm -hmm. Hi guys, what are you doing? Picking this stuff out of monkey. It's very gross. Yes, like who? are very slippery. And they're very smelly to eat when they're cooked. <laughs> Look. Mm -hmm. Oops. Oops. <laughs> and this is, if I can get it out of there, wow. the orange stuff right there is goop, which is the guts of a pumpkin. Yes. And mm -hmm. it's our guts. <laughs> it's really like good. Yeah. They're very we're hard to get out because they're very slippery. Ah. Uh, later, we are going to look at the pumpkin. Can you look at them? Isn't that funny? <laughs> I'm almost done with my second one. You guys are good workers. Touch. 
Let's jump and spin and do another chariot stance because not everybody had that one. Chariot stance! Hey! Good. Jimmy stance! Hey! Good. Resting stance! Hey! Left guard stance! Hey! Forward to that, Daddy. <laughs> you all think you can do that? So jump and left guarding stance. Ready? Left guarding stance! Hey! Good. Jump and side stance! Hey! Good. Keep your balance. Left forward stance! Nice, 